Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. So today we'll be taking a look at the level 8 Roadrunner suitcase and the suitcase comes inside a box with the level 8 logo on it and it comes inside a wide drawstring bag. I was expecting the suitcase to be huge but it's quite compact. It has a capacity of 38 liters and weighs in at 8.9 pounds. It has a dimension of 14.5 inches in length, 9.3 inches in width and has a height of 21.9 inches. The suitcase has a light and durable hard shell exterior that is water resistant so it will keep your products dry if you ever get caught in some light rain. It has a subtle logo embedded in the front of the suitcase and they offer this in two colors, you can get it in black or in navy blue. The suitcase offers a combination TSA lock for both the main compartment and the front pocket that is very simple to set. You will first need to put the code that the suitcase came with, then insert a thin tip into this section here like a paper clip or something like that and push it to the right. After you put the code that you want, just push this back to the left and it will be set. To unlock the suitcase, all you need to do is put in your combination and then push the button up here to the right and to the left for the main pocket and laptop pocket to unlock. This is a nice feature since it will save you time from ever misplacing a key. The suitcase has a top and side handle that has a very low profile that looks really good. The handle stretches and then retracts once you let it go. This also has a back high adjustable handle to roll the suitcase with and it sits flush with the suitcase as well. It has 4 high ranges that you can easily adjust with the push of the middle button. From the ground to the handle, the height of the first one is a little under 31.5 inches, the second one stops at 37.5 inches, the third one at 39.5 inches, with the last one sitting at 41.5 inches from the ground to the top. The frame is metal while the top section is hard plastic which doesn't get as cold or hot as the metal frame can. So the wheels are pretty silent when you're rolling it on carpet or a smooth surface, but on cracked and uneven surfaces, it is just as loud as some other wheels. It does feel very smooth when rolling this around though. And the wheels have a 360 degrees rotation, which is also very smooth. The zippers on this unzips and zips with ease. It doesn't get caught in any seams, which is really good. So we will first start off with the front pocket. The front pocket unzips all the way to the bottom of the suitcase, which allows it to fully open. On the sides, there's a velcro strap that holds the pocket from falling all the way down when you first open it. You would just need to undo it to have the front open all the way if you needed to. Having that velcro there is really nice since you can get your items out very quickly by just unzipping it without having to worry about how much you unzip it. And I haven't had the need to fully unzip this pocket. Now if you have more weight in the front pocket than in the main compartment, when you go and open the front pocket, this can tip over. It just all depends if you have enough weight in the main compartment to balance this out. Now taking a closer look at the front pocket, the interior has a nice gray nylon fabric. And this has a laptop compartment on the back here that will hold up to a 15.6 inch laptop. If you have somewhat of a thicker laptop, the sides stretch a little to give you some room for a thicker laptop or if you want to add some folders in there with your laptop, you can make it fit. This also has a tablet sleeve and this pocket has a width of 7 inches and a length of 9 inches. I don't have a small tablet so I'll use this pocket for something else. Now on the other side, there's one pen loop and two identical small pockets and a long mesh pocket at the very bottom. You can fit the MacBook 61 watt power brick and cable in the top pocket. I will be carrying a much more compact and slightly more powerful charger in there. This will hold my 65 watt Aki power brick and long USB-C charging cable that can charge all my devices. On the other pocket, I will carry my USB hub. Along with my USB hub, I will carry my Bluetooth Pixel Buds. You can fit a larger tablet in the middle with a case on or a thin cable pouch. On the tablet pocket, I will keep my scientific calculator in there. I will also carry a black pen with me to jot down notes, as well as some engineering paper to write down the problems on. So you have a decent amount of space in here to put all your essentials that you will need to get work done. Now taking a look at the main compartment, this pocket opens sideways and all the way. It also has a gray nylon fabric inside. On the right side, there's a fairly large pocket to put most of your clothes in, and it has a strap to tighten the clothes down. The handle frame does take up some room in this pocket, but you still get a good amount of space to put your clothes in. And this pocket has a very noticeable seam here, and this can unzip to reveal the back side of the hard shell exterior, and it also shows where the metal frame of the handle is kept. And this is for TSA purposes. Now depending on the thickness of your pants, shorts, type of shirts, long sleeve or short sleeve, you can pack down about 3-5 to five days worth of clothes in there. And this all depends on what you pack in there. It fit 3 pants and 3 short sleeve shirts, and it has some room left for a jacket. On the left side, there's a mesh zipper pocket on the top and another zipper pocket at the bottom. Then there's a larger pocket on the back side of this for more items. I use this pocket to put my socks and underwear in. I still have some room left over so I put my pomade in there and also my PJ and shorts. Now onto the smaller pockets, starting with the top one, there you will find some letter stickers to label your bag with, your name or your word of your choice to personalize your suitcase. And this is pretty neat. 
This top pocket fit my toothbrush, toothpaste, and floss. Now on the bottom pocket, I put my cologne, my deodorant, and my lotion. And since there was still more room on the top pocket, I put my shaving cream and razor in there. And these are all full size products, so if you have travel size ones, you can fit way more in there. So all of this roughly clocked in at 28 pounds. And the frame of the back handle didn't bend when having that weight resting on it while rolling this around. And level 8 also has a business backpack to go with this suitcase and it's called the Atlas Backpack. It has a compact design with a lot of pockets to organize your items and I'll go more in depth on its own dedicated video. Overall, this suitcase has a nice design and can carry 3-5 to five days worth of clothes for a short business trip or mini vacation. And the link will be below in the description and if you have any questions let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer as soon as possible. Alright, so that does it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like if you found the video helpful and subscribe for more tech related videos and I will talk to you on the next one.